Hey guys, last weekend I went to the Polycot conference and it was awesome. And in this video, you're gonna see some of the Polycots that I attended and what I got out of the conference. When I first heard about the Polycot conference, my first question was, I'm not a Polycot, but can I go? My second question was, what's in Budapest? But because it's right next to Austria, I'm not going to complain about it. And right when I stepped out of the train station in from Budapest, I knew it was the right choice. And even though I didn't have a chance to go to the popular places, but as you can see, there are many beautiful buildings everywhere just by walking around. And on Friday night, the Polygod army, more than 45 of us, took over a restaurant. It was a lot of fun talking and meeting with different people, practicing the languages. And after dinner, I already felt that it was worth the trip and the conference hadn't even started yet. The Polycock conference starts at 9.30 a.m. and we had our little badges where we wrote down all the languages that we learned so we can practice them. And for the next two days, we had lots of great speakers on many different topics. Susanna spoke about the importance of saving endangered languages and a story of how a man was saved by language during the World War II. Judith spoke about computational linguistic, huh? basically about how computer and online translation works and what we can expect in the future. Alex spoke about his story and his fascination on Yiddish. Benny shared about practical tips on how to start a blog, doing what you love, and how to go viral. Richard spoke about the issue of moderation online and how it affects children and how we can get pay using our languages. And we close with Luca. Luca shared instead of following his father's footstep, how he followed his dream and his approach of learning a language. And much, much more. And beside the talks, there are so many fun moments. For example, like two to three polygots having a conversation, switching in different language every few lines. The polygot army hitting the pubs after the conference. People sharing stories and experiences that only happen because they learn to speak a new language. And this is just a glimpse of the Polygot Conference. And for me, the biggest thing that I got out of the conference is that this community is about connecting with people. It doesn't matter if you speak 20 languages or one language, a polyglot or a polynot, you're welcome as long as you're interested in using language to see other people's point of view, learn about other people's culture, and to make new friends. That's a wrap for the Polygot Conference. Hope you enjoyed it and I was so inspired walking out of that conference and I know that I made lots of great friends. So if you like what you saw, I look forward to seeing you in the next political conference.